Guys, I just wake up and I'm going to share a shocking revelation with you. You cannot give up no matter how hard it gets. You have to find a reason to keep going because people are depending on you to make it whether they know it or not. You're the key to their freedom. You're the chosen. So, whilst I slept, the Lord reminded me of what caused me to realize that Sophie Brown was a witch. The first thing the Lord told me or showed me was there was a night I was sleeping at her house on my left side at a bed that was in a room that you have to pass to go to the bathroom and I remember one night when I awoke I was very sick I got sick while I was there and when I awoke she was speedily moving from over me I saw her and it was I never said no because I thought she could have been coming from the bathroom then when I dozed off it happened again she's moving she was doing something over me while I slept. The Lord told me that what was why you were ill. That is where she tampered with you. That is what got you ill. That is how everyone around her gets ill. Thousands of children go around this woman. Thousands. If not every child in the community. And every time they go there, they're bouncy, pretty, beautiful in their youth. You know when you're a teenager, you have this, oh, beauty. And then they just get ugly, slim, pop down. Their name is mis mixed up. Their destinies were tampered with, but it's not obvious. You, you looking in just believes that something is not happening to them. You can't realize that what is happening to them is spiritual. Jesus Christ. The Lord told me that this is happening to almost every child in I Like View community. Even those who are grown. Now, my brother that I talk about, he's said some stuff behind my back. But I can't help but love that brother. Though he has done a lot, as in, he's not always the most loyal. And I always understand because I realize that he's in pain. My brother never had a good life. So no matter what he does, it's like I can understand that he's speaking from pain. He's bitter, he's hurt because his life just was on fear. It really was. You might look in, looking in, in at it, can't see. But I know nothing works for him. Always can't. It's like, no, I don't want to speak word curses on him, but everything is, seems to be wrong in his life, and he's younger than me. And I've noticed this from about 20 years old with him, and he's almost 30. The Lord just revealed what happened to me. When I got pregnant, I left to go live with my baby father. When I went to go live with my baby father, he was left. There was a time when he got severely ill and a man by the name of Sheldon had to be helping him when he was living with my grandmother. Just now, the Lord showed me that that was when they tampered with his destiny. My brother was so handsome. When I say so handsome, I mean Chantal Armstrong there were girls, I remember Chantal Armstrong specifically. She used to come to me, your brother is so cute. Like, sure, your brother is so, like, lost at him. Like, your brother is so I remember the. I remember when I saw him a few years after leaving. I saw him in Papine. And when he was coming up, I was like, whoa, my brother is so cute. Believe you me, I don't know. Oh, I did not see this. He is not. It just disappeared. I mean, it just disappeared. The beauty just left him. And it led me to realize that it left my mother too. 
then it left me. But only because I came to Christ, it came back. It's a generational curse. The beauty that we add or have, people love it. Witches love beauty. Listen to me. Witches love beauty. Be careful of people with big yard who love kids in their yard. They're often witches. Believe me. They use the children's destiny to keep young. They're the ones who never get old. They never get old, but everyone that goes around them grows old. It's not a joke. Someone tampered with my brother's destiny. He never, he just became like the opposite of what he was and everyone thought it was just him growing worthless or life happening or, and that's what they thought. That's how they, that's how witchcraft works. You can't see it. So what are you going to say? But what you can see is that the person just get ugly. The person, witchcraft can make someone features change. When someone takes someone's identity, you see, that witch is going to die in Jesus name when someone takes someone's identity it simply means that what you normally look at them and see is no longer what you're seeing but to you it's normal but no the witches they don't really these witches don't really something just came to the top these witches don't really look like the person you don't must look at them and say, oh, you look like the person. But you're going to realize that these witches are so beautiful from the other day. Everyone is going to say, oh, from where do you get so pretty? Everybody going to say, oh, from where do you get so pretty? They just leave from being ugly. You ever see a dolly that is ugly? And then all of a sudden just get pretty, something happened. That's how witches work when they transfer people destiny. They just leave from being ugly. What we society call ugly, that ugly unto God. To being radiantly beautiful, people can't just stop talking about them. No, that does not happen. That does not happen. It's out. Something happens spiritually. They tamper with someone's destiny. My brother just looked very less appealing. My brother was so handsome. My brother's face get long and his face was almost like mine more round. He got miserable. He just got grim. He just got... <laughs> and you couldn't figure out what was causing it. The Lord just showed it to me. And when he showed it to me, I can't help but feel bad. And I'm like, I got to break this curse. No matter how people view me or what the devil is using people to say, I have to break this curse. I want you to find a reason to break the curse. I don't care how it's doing unto you. Because it's hard. We have to break it. Thousands of people are in that community of I like view. And they're living so hard and thinking it's life when it's not. Because there's a spell that was cast years ago. It needs to be broken. Do you know that when I was taking off an eyeline view, taking off on TikTok rather, when I was taking off on TikTok, the entrance to the community, I saw a wire being rooted up from one end to the other. There's only one entrance that you can drive around. And I saw a big, like, you know, when somebody's uprooting a light wire that was buried all the way across. And I said, God, what made it do this? And the Lord revealed, it, revealed to me that was a limitation. You broke that limitation. But there's so much up there to break. So I had to go through so much, but they don't, know, they, don't, they don't understand. The youths were very jovial and energetic, and they just became grim on the corners. And they think it's normal. It's not. It's called being worthless. Someone is doing it to them. And the person is right there. It's a generational thing. It's a regional thing. But in the name of Jesus, pray some good prayers for me while I break this thing. 